Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be making butter chicken. This is my husband's recipe. It's an Indian style uh, curry, not too spicy. And it's one of his favorites. He used to make this uh, recipe when he was a meat eater. Now we're both vegan, so we're gonna be cooking this for our daughter. So these are the ingredients for our butter chicken. So we're gonna be needing some chicken. This is some already sliced one. Butter, of course. Lime. One tomato. About two onions. These are quite small, so medium or small onions. Um, yogurt, about one and a half teaspoons of sugar. I have some already made um, ginger and garlic paste. So that's in there. Some salt, some pepper, and I have a few uh, red lentils over here, some cumin, curry leaves, and some cardamom seeds. I'm gonna set that aside. Some cashews, these are raw cashews, and cumin powder. Oh, and some turmeric, of course. So first we'll start by marinating the chicken. So in order to do this, I'm going to use half of this lime and I'm squeezing the juice. And then I'm going to use some salt, just a pinch of salt. freshly ground pepper some cumin powder about half a teaspoon turmeric powder same about half a teaspoon and some yogurt I'm gonna keep this in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. So this is how it looks like. Again, we'll let it uh, marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, I have chopped um, the tomatoes and the onions. Now I'm adding the butter into my pan. Okay, the butter is melted. Now I'm gonna add this mix of spices and lentils, uh, curry leaves, cardamom and cumin. They have to fry for, for, for a little bit. Now I'm gonna add the onions.
I'm gonna fry the onions for three, four minutes until they become translucent. Now I'm gonna add the ginger garlic paste and mix it well and let it cook for another four to five minutes. Next I'm gonna add the tomatoes and I'm gonna mix everything well and let it cook for another four to five minutes to bring up all the juices. Next I'm adding a, a small cup of water. And I'm gonna be adding the spices. One teaspoon of ground cumin powder. One teaspoon of turmeric. Now maybe less, maybe about half a teaspoon of turmeric. Salt to taste. Pepper. The sugar. We have the cubes. And if you wanna make it spicy, which is not our case today. You can add this garam masala powder. I'm gonna mix everything together. And let it simmer for a few more minutes. Now I'm adding a fistful of cashew nuts and let them cook together with a curry. So I'm gonna let everything cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, making sure I stir from time to time. This is almost ready, now I'm gonna add a few teaspoons of yogurt. And mix again. And then I'm gonna blend everything together. I have transferred um, the curry into the blender and now I'm just gonna blend it really well. The paste is right here, but if you would like to have a smoother and the finer consistency, just take a strainer, pour it into the strainer and gently press it with the back of your spoon. Look how smooth this is. This is a trick that I have learned from my husband. 
Okay, let's put this on the side and we'll prepare the chicken now. Okay, I've got about two spoons of butter in my pan. That is nicely melting. And now I'm gonna be adding the chicken. So the chicken needs to cook for about 15-20 minutes until it's done. The chicken is ready now, so we can add the gravy. That's the gravy, looks amazing. And you have to let it cook for, I would say, no more than 10 minutes. butter chicken is now done. You can add some uh, chopped coriander leaves if you would like to. However, I'm not gonna add any right now because my daughter doesn't like it. You can serve it with plain rice or with uh, naan bread, chapati bread, whatever you would like there it is thank you for watching and please let me know down in the comments how did you like the recipe bye